Future Leader Fellowships are an exciting new scheme which has been launched by UKRI. They're designed to develop the next generation of researchers and innovators working in the UK. The kind of people we're looking for are people who don't fit neatly into boxes but are the sort of person that we feel have got huge potential to be the researchers and innovators of the future. We want to be surprised and challenged by the research that they're proposing. I'm James, I'm a glaciologist. I work on glasses and ice sheets across the globe using a combination of satellite imagery and also computer simulations, trying to understand how they're going to respond to future climate change. So there's satellite data generated across the Antarctic and Arctic regions at least every six days. And this takes around about 15 to 20 minutes per image to actually analyse. So what we're doing with this fellowship is to automate this analysis so we can generate near real-time monitoring of glaciers and ice sheets worldwide. So one of the great things about the fellowship is this will allow me uh, to develop a team around me and also allow me to develop new ideas to hopefully advance our understanding of how ice sheets and glaciers will respond to future climate change. Solving this problem couldn't be more important. How people and governments react to this will have major implications for life over the next 100 years because what happens in the polar regions tends not to stay in the polar regions. Our fellows are tackling some of society's biggest challenges, whether that is through their work in the creative industries, um, working on new technologies such as development of new batteries or driverless cars, uh, climate change or healthcare challenges such as healthy ageing. I'm Sarah and I'm a developmental neuroscientist and my fellowship is about bringing the technology um, to measure the brain into new contexts for the study of poverty um, in global health. So for example in the Gambia We've already been running a project where we're looking at very early brain development from the first days across the first 1,000 days of life to the second birthday. Um, and with that knowledge, we want to look at early risk markers such as undernutrition and how that affects brain development. This fellowship to me just seems like such a, a unique opportunity. You, know, you, you don't have this kind of scheme come up where you have this long-term continuity of research funding. I think it's a very difficult stage of your career to have um, young children under five, to be wanting to be with them and wanting to do your career as well. The framework that I have for my fellowship is part-time and that allows you to both on a scientific front do longitudinal research and follow these families for many years, that's really important, as well as being able to be with my family and have that stability of your family life. My fellowship is about new techniques in laser spectroscopy to learn about the microscopic world of catalysts and batteries. These are two really important uh, materials for, for society, batteries for powering cars now and catalysts for making useful materials. Over the last few years we've had significant interest uh, in our techniques from Johnson Matthey who are a very large company with a, a diverse range uh, of divisions. They're going to help me understand what, what is important to them, um, what kinds of problems we can direct these techniques to. The length of the fellowship is, is, is a big attraction. Seven years um, to, to roll out a research programme and, and spend you know, good quality time on the projects. You know that you're being backed in a, in a process where a lot of experts have said this programme is a good one and I've got confidence that I'm doing something that is really uh, worthwhile. My hope is that at the end of the Seven Year Fellowship, the people that we fund will not only go on to enjoy highly successful careers in their chosen area, whether it's uh, business, uh, policy, politics, academia, but that we will have created a cohort so that the relationships that those individuals form will truly enrich our landscape for many decades to come. <laughs>